I am like the least qualified person to make this video. So I did a live stream on YouTube the other day and one of my viewers asked me, how can I stop procrastinating? Now I gave them somewhat of an on the spot answer, but ever since then I've been thinking about it because I often have problems with procrastination myself. So while I hope this video helps some of you guys, it's mostly for my own benefit. So for me personally, I have to think about the situations in which I'm compelled to procrastinate and situations when I don't procrastinate. For example, if the task I want to complete has a deadline, I'll often procrastinate up until the deadline, but I will usually get it done before the deadline has passed. But of course not all tasks have a deadline. For example, I could choose never to clean my kitchen ever again. There's no deadline. But what we can do is impose deadlines upon ourselves or make schedules. So if you say, my job is to clean the kitchen every Friday, you're more likely to do it because you have a schedule. Especially once you get into the routine, and that's another important thing. Making a routine is a good way to combat procrastination. If the thing that you need to get done is something that you do regularly, like homework or cleaning, once you get into the habit of doing it, your body and mind will be more prepared when the time comes. I think I read somewhere that if you do something over and over for about three weeks, then it becomes a habit. And it'll be easy to do. Another thing that helps is having your friends and family hold you accountable. Now I'm sure most of you don't want to be nagged, but sometimes you might need someone to stay on your ass just so you can get shit done. Because a lot of us, including me, are less likely to want to disappoint another person. Like me, for example, I would probably never exercise if I didn't have friends doing it with me. But actually, it's been kind of a while since I exercised. I need to get on that. The holidays got me fucked up. Now another thing that I've been sort of toying around with is turning your tasks into a game. Now this may only work for certain people, but for me, me, like I like games, I like challenges and that sort of thing. So I can often motivate myself into doing something just by turning it into a challenge. For example, I never knew until very recently how to properly load a dishwasher. But then I found like the instruction manual for my dishwasher which gave you like guidelines on how to load it. Now literally every time I load the dishwasher I turn it into somewhat of a game where I see how efficiently I can load the dishwasher. And that motivates me to load the dishwasher because I like the challenge. And if I complete the challenge then I consider it a huge reward. And rewards are another important thing. Like sometimes it's hard to make yourself do stuff when there's no immediate reward. So if you can find a way to reward yourself, a healthy way to reward yourself, maybe that will help. Like you can make bargains with yourself. You could say like, wow, Friends is on Netflix now and I really want to marathon that, but I won't do it until I finish cleaning my room. But once that room is clean, it's going down. Now obviously we would probably never procrastinate if we didn't have so many ways to distract ourselves. So removing distractions is often very key. Like for me, Facebook and YouTube have completely obliterated my productivity. The common thread here is is willpower and some people just naturally have more willpower than other people but I do think that willpower is something that you can develop and expand but maybe there are some ways such as the ideas I've already presented where you can sort of hack your brain and access willpower that you didn't know you had like a really weird thing with me is that I'm much more likely to get stuff done if I'm not sitting in my chair because I guess my mind associates my desk and my chair with like Facebook and video games so sometimes literally all I have to do is stand up or just walk into a different room and my brain just sort of reboots and I'm much more motivated to get stuff done. See right now I live in just a tiny apartment but I'm thinking in the future if I had like an office or a studio something that my brain associates with work and productivity I think that would help out tremendously. So if you have something like that that might help as well. But at the end of the day what we've got to realize is the things we have to do generally aren't that bad. You've probably noticed this that once you get started with the task it's usually not that hard to just keep going and finish it. All we have to do is just get up and do it. Don't think about it, just do it. That's just me though. What are your tips to avoid procrastination? Cause I really need that advice. Drop a comment. I wanna go ahead and give a shout out to all of the new subscribers. How you do? Please press the thumbs up button and subscribe if you like my hair. Holla. Basically, one itis is to a crush as a flash flood is to a puddle. It's when you become so infatuated with one person, hence the name one itis, that you've come to believe that that person is your one and only shot at true love and romance. And either you focus all of your time and effort trying to win that one person over or like I once did you give up and assume you'll never find true love again